Sandira, Sinata, Sandiaero, Sandakia, Mandagero. Stand here, stand here. Raise your hands, raise your hands. Are you here, somebody? When I first laid my eyes on you, the Lord told me every single plan by the enemy that was directed at you is done away with today in the name of Jesus. If you are here under the influence of my voice, get it for yourself now in the name of Jesus. Because when I'm seeing you, I begin to see the devil attacking you. But specifically, the enemy was attacking your finances. That no matter what you try to do, but what the Lord ministered to me is that by this time next year, are you hearing me? The Lord ministered to me that by this time next year, you will be counting money in your house. I see money Amen. entering your hands. Amen. And wherever you are under the influence of my voice, his same prophecy is yours in the name of Jesus. Catch it! Where, where, where's the flag? Where's this flag? Where's this flag? Quickly because of time. As the Lord took me in the realm of the spirit, I'm standing in Zambia now. And as I'm standing in Zambia now, I saw a prayer at your household and you are praying, Lord, my only prayer is I want to enter that location and I cannot leave the same way I have come. Amen. This is a, a prayer I'm seeing taking place at early hours of the morning and you are praying, Lord, I want prophet angel to speak to me. Amen. I tell you now by the Spirit of God, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. Amen. Ah. Hey. Ah. Man of God. Because when I saw it, that I'm standing in Zambia now, but the Lord took me to a place like, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's like Kilombe, Kilombe, what is this? Kalombile. Because, because I'm not from Zambia. So these things, I'm just seeing the Lord showing me them. This is like Kilombile, Kilombile, Kalombile. And when I'm seeing this location, it's as if you traveled like 890 kilometers. Kilometers. Can I prophesy over that there that side? I don't hear you. Somebody shout, Jesus, do something. When I'm seeing this, brother, it's as if you traveled from where you were and you said, Lord, I will not leave that place without God blessing me. The Lord told me it's true. Yes. Are you sure, my brother? Very true. What the Lord told me is that what you have come for today is yours in the name of Jesus. Because when I saw this, the Lord said that he raised you as a minister of his word. Because when I stood in the realm of the spirit, I began to see you just as me holding this microphone. And the Lord said in these last days, under Prophet Hubert Angel, who I have sent, I will use you as a voice as well. Amen! This is a prayer you've had because I saw the mantle of ministry over your head. Yes, a I'm mantle. An apostle, you're an apostle. Yes. Mele kabaya dia franose. Is what I'm saying true? Is it making sense to you, my brother? Yes, yes, yes. The Lord said, from years back, I raised an apostle in Zambia. And he said, as long as you are connected to the grace of Prophet Yubin Angel, you shall not see failure in the name of Jesus. Amen, I see it. To be specific, the Lord said, to prove to you what is being said is true. He raised an apostle, not only in Zambia, but a place called like Kitwe, Kitwe. Oh yes, that's where I'm doing ministry from. That's where you're doing ministry from. Can I prophesy? Ah, your level of joy is about to quench my spirit. This is Kitwe where you're doing ministry yes. from. The Lord said out of Kitwe, he is raising a roaring lion out of you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Do you believe in what I'm saying? Very true, man you of believe God. in Prophet Hubert Angel? Yes, man of You God. believe in God? Yes, man Then of God. what I'm saying shall materialize in the name of Jesus. Amen. But when I saw this, the Lord said, don't worry about those people that don't believe in your grace. It shall be a matter of time until God anoints you to a point where your manifestation will be beyond human comprehension. Oh yes, I receive it 
man of God. Because I begin to see, where is your wife? Where is your wife right now? She's at home in Kalumbila. She's in home in Kalumbila. Yes, my Lord. When I saw her, it is as if one of your prayer requests was, Lord, I want this lady just to believe in my grace. The yes, way you've set it upon my head God. is what I'm saying to my brother. Very true, man Don't worry God. about these people here. Your own prophecy is coming. What is here? Is what I'm saying making sense to you? Yes, my Lord. You were praying, Lord, I wanted to know I've done the grace that is upon my life because it's as if there's a grace of an apostolic grace that God has imparted upon yes, you. But she doesn't believe in it the way that you know. Yes, my Lord. Is what I'm saying true. No kululu. No kululu no kalala. No kululu no kalala. Melekaba ya sefranose. Can I do what I was born to do? Zambia, I don't hear you, I don't hear you. Is what I'm saying making sense to you? Yes, sir. But the Lord told me, it shall be a matter of time until this lady is the one bringing you to church, dragging you to church. Are you hearing what I'm saying, my brother? This is one of your prayer requests. That I want her love for you, Christ, to swell up. I tell you, you shall see beyond and before a matter of time, your marriage... That was your desire when she was ministering. In the morning. So what I'm saying is true. Thank you, my Lord. I speak it shall take place for you in the name of Jesus. Imagine I wasn't there when mom was ministering in the morning, but I know what your heart desires was. This is to prove to you, God is hearing you. My brother, if you trust in me as a seer of God, know in this, it shall be a matter of time until your marriage is milk and honey. Amen. Are you getting me? Yes, what the Lord ministered to me is this. The devil is going to attack you. Because I saw many demonic attacks, even upon your finances, that were restricting your min the apostolic calling upon your life. But the Lord said today, those same obstacles have been uprooted in the name of Jesus. Amen. Just two months ago, my motorbike was stolen in Lusaka. Your motorbike was stolen in Lusaka? Two motorbikes. Were two motorbikes. Evelia Caprano. This is why I'm saying that the devil has been attacking your finances. But today, in the name of Jesus, I said today, in the name of Jesus, today, in the name of Jesus, I see the Lord raising up multi millionaires for the gospel. Amen. Are you hearing me, my brother? Yes, my Lord. The Lord is about to impart a financial blessing upon your life. Amen. That before I go, I will make sure that I pray for you. And I want you to know it is done by the Spirit of God. That was one of my prayer points, man. What was this? The money is coming. The money is here. Mele Kabaya said. Are you seeing this? Ah. Zambia, you are not here. Zambia, you are not here. This was one of your prayer points. Yes, yes. When did you write this? Today. Today you wrote this? Yes. Maybe you have my number. No man of God. Maybe you have my email. No man of God. This is your first time seeing me. Only my dear man of God. Kabalia Keprano. And this is my first time in Zambia. But what the Lord ministered to me, it shall be a matter of time. And if you are under the influence of my voice, it shall be a matter of time for you in the name of Jesus. This is just a question. Where were you born? Where were you born? I was born in Kite. You were born in Kite. Okay. Yeah. This is why I said I saw the Lord raising a lion out of Kitwe. The Lord shall amplify your voice in the name of Jesus. Raise your hands. Raise your hands. I'm coming back to you. Hold this. Hold this. In fact, I'll bring this back to you. Jesus. If you are here under the influence of my voice. I see a blessing coming to you. Over there in the balcony, are you tired? Are you tired? I said I see a blessing taking place. Over there, are you tired? I see, I said I see a blessing taking place in the name of Jesus. How many want prophecy? How many want prophecy? How many here are ready for prophecy? Zambia, are you here? Zambia, I don't hear you, I don't hear you. Brother, come here, come here quickly because of time. Raise your hands. 
by the Spirit of God before this conference comes to an end the Lord shall have imparted a spiritual blessing over your life in the name of Jesus if you are here under the influence of my voice catch it for yourself stand here woman Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Take care of your child, take care of your child. Don't worry, don't worry. Here, here, don't worry. Hold your child nicely, hold your child nicely. The Lord told me that he is wiping away your tears. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Someone hold, take this baby, take this baby. Stand here, stand here, because I'm seeing fire moving in this place. Where, where, where is the lady with the child? Come. Come close to the mother. Come close. Who are you to this lady? You are the husband. Come close. Stand here. Don't cry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Stand here. Hold your wife's hand. Velia Kapranuse Essay Sovelia. The Lord ministered to me to tell you that your time is now. Because what I ministered, are you hearing me, brother? To that same gentleman there. This is where I said fire, I see fire moving. Because I saw issues with money, issues with money. But what the Lord told me is this. The moment you came into this location, you, you entered your financial breakthrough. Oh, some of you here, some of you here. I see you entering your financial breakthrough. Lady, come here, come here, come here, come here. Raise your hands, raise your hands, raise your hands. Come here, I, I'm only here. I only have a few minutes. Raise your hands. That lady there, are you hearing me? Are you hearing me, sister? I want you to stay where you are. Whatever I prophesy to this lady is yours in the name of Jesus. And wherever you are in this auditorium, by the Spirit of God, under the influence of my voice, whatever I minister to these people, is yours in Jesus' name. If you believe it, let your amen thunder like fire. Sister, raise your hands. Raise your hands, raise your hands, raise your hands. Don't worry about these people here. This is between you and God. Sister over there, are you hearing me? Stay where you are. Whatever I minister to this lady is yours as well. Are you hearing me? Do you hear me, sister? In the realm of the spirit, what I minister to this gentleman, I saw it upon your life. I saw a demonic attack. But this was not finances alone. This was demonic activity. If you are here and you have the same issue as this lady, you can't just be standing like that. I saw demonic attacks upon your life. It was as if the enemy's plan was to frustrate everything in you and your husband's life. Everything you try to do, you move here, it's frustrated. You move here, it's frustrated. But the Lord ministered to me concerning you and those that are here. Every plan of the enemy that was planted to frustrate you is being frustrated now in the name of Jesus. I said it is being frustrated now. When I'm seeing you, sister, in the realm of the spirit, can I prophesy? Somebody say, see, I do something. Sister, raise your hands. Don't worry about these people here. But what the Lord told me is this, that prepare yourself for financial breakthrough because God is changing your identity. For too long, the enemy has been frustrating things in your life, even concerning your family. I began to see a demon of death moving around about in your family. To be specific, when I saw this, a mentalia caprano. I saw a demon of death that came to your life. The plan of the enemy was to cause what happened to your parents to take place to you. Is what I'm saying too. You saw it too. This is a dream I'm seeing. But it's as if a demonic entity entered your dream. Because you've been having problems with sleep. You can't sleep. You can't sleep. Is what I'm saying too. You don't sleep for one month. Can I prophesy? Your level of joy is about to quench my spirit.
you don't sleep for one month this is a demon of death and the plan was to plant a seed of death upon your mother upon your father to a point where it would come to you and your husband this is a question because I begin to see a coffin and when I saw this coffin I saw it in the realm of the spirit and I saw it written like Milewo. it is like the letter M I don't know I'm not from Zambia so I don't know this thing Male, Male, who is Male? Your family. But where is your father and mother? They are dead. Just a month or two ago. You've been seeing it. So what I'm saying is true. Veleka pranose tiana. Maleka what the Lord ministered to me is that this demon of death, the plan was to have you in a coffin. This is as if something that the demon of death showed you. I began to see you in a coffin. And the plan of the enemy was to kill you, kill your husband, and kill these two children. Because in the realm of the spirit, Eleka Pranovra Ekiskovelian. I began to see it was as if a demon of death wanted to kill you and it failed with you. Then the plan was to get to your child, but it failed once, it failed twice. Then number three. How many children do you have now? She says two girls, but in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing three kids. But if I ask her now, she refuses. No, I know the third one. You know the third one. What happened to the third one? The third one died. 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 One died. This is what the Lord showed me. It was as if it was a miscarriage. The plan of the enemy was to take this child and steal it. But what the Lord told me is this. That child is in heaven standing in the name of Jesus. Because you thought that God will give you only girls. But this third one was a boy. It was a boy. And I saw that boy in heaven. Are you hearing what I'm saying, my sister? This is what the Lord showed me. But what the Lord told me is that the plans of death upon your life shall not take place in the name of Jesus. That has been your prayer. Today, my sister, your prayers have been answered in the name of Jesus. No demon of death shall touch you. Not today, not tomorrow. Until the rapture, you shall live in the name of Jesus. This is a demon that has been moving in your family. Moving in your family. Moving in your family. I'm a ministry helper. You're a ministry helper. Yes. You're being blocked. Yes. It's as if everything in your life. Because even when I'm seeing, what you're saying is very specific. Because this is not only a block in your finances. It's a block in everywhere in your life. Because even when I'm seeing your stomach now, your womb, it's as if it has been tied and uprooted. I've been sick for a long time. You've been sick? Yes. But I'm seeing your stomach, but I'm seeing no womb. Amen, sir. I don't know why. I'm seeing no womb. They've tied my womb. They tied your womb. They tied, they tied your womb. Come here, come on. Come on. This is why I said there are blockages, blockages. And they tied your womb. But by the Spirit of God, we untie it now in the name of Jesus. I said wherever you are, your finances we untie in the name of Jesus. That breakthrough we untie in the name of Jesus. That sickness we untie in the name of Jesus. If you believe it, let your amen thunder like fire. Sister, come close to me. Come close to me. Come close. Come close. Come close. Come here. Come here. Come here. Raise your hands. These are many demonic attacks I'm seeing upon your life. When I began to see it, you were wondering how come these things are haphazard in your life. They are haphazard. Haphazard. Demonic attack after demonic attack. The Lord told me is this. It's because the demon that is causing these demonic attacks is in your household. Don't worry, the Lord has seen your heart today. 
I saw this there's a demon that has found entrance into your family and now is attacking everything to be specific I stood in a location when I'm standing in a location the Lord took me to your husband's side because although I'm in Lusaka right now I've been transported to another location and when I stood in this location the Lord began to show me someone holding your hand I saw this person holding your hand as if they were married to you but the biggest hindrance that the Lord showed me is that I saw it being a lady this when the Lord showed me is that there is someone in your family that has tied themselves to you because I began to look upon your husband when I looked upon your husband I saw a lady like Tina or something like this Tina 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 that's the sister that's his sister what's the name Tina 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 you are the husband so, Tina is your sister is what I'm saying true Cavalier te pranova are you sure my brother that's my sister God wants to change your identity today are you getting what I'm saying my brother God is ready to bless you today but when I saw this Tina the Lord said that we need to pray for our life are you getting what I'm saying when I'm seeing this the Lord said that we need to pray for this Tina because I'm seeing a cloud of demonic a demoniac upon her life is what I'm saying making sense to you, my brother? Yes. Sir. What is making sense? Tina is my sister, and she just called me to come here. I just came here like 20 minutes ago. She called you to come here? She called me to say, come. Vele ah. say. A few minutes ago, she called you to come here. Yes. Where is she now? No, her is the one who called me. She called you. Yeah, the wife the called, wife him. called him. Yes. But Tina, when I saw this in the realm of the spirit, the Lord said that we need to pray for this sister of yours because of the plan of the enemy is to cause demonic oppression over her life. Are you getting what I'm saying? Are you hearing what I'm saying, my sister? This is demonic oppression because I'm seeing that there are people that the enemy is going to place her around that are involved in demonic things. Is what I'm saying making sense to you? What is making sense? <laughs> prophesy is here. Like as you are prophesying, the wife called him to be here 20 minutes ago. And the prophetic is touching both of them. Veleka. Somebody give God a mighty shout out, please. I said, if you want to locate me. Give, 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 give me the mic. What is he saying? What are you saying? You said what? When I was coming in, I said, if you want to locate me. Then I will not believe that God is there. Maleka. Are you hearing that somebody? That's what you said on your way here. And God located you. So you know God exists. I believe that. You believe. Somebody give God a mighty shout of praise. You can do better than that. Huh? You say the same. The exact same. And God has located you today. If God has located you, what it means is that your situation is changing today. Hold your hands like this. Hold your hands like this. Hold your hands like this. Because God wants to put money in your hands today in the name of Jesus. God wants to bless you financially more than what you've received. But my sister, we need to pray for this Tina. Tina, Tina, Tina. We need to pray for her. I'm seeing demonic influence around her. Demonic influence. Is what I'm saying making sense? What is making sense? What is taking place? Because I can see you're emotional. Come here. That is my sister. That is your sister. And I know when you mention Tina. Uh -huh. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You understand? I do understand? So what am I saying? What, what do you understand? I understand that we need to pray and God has done it. Kabalia te pronose. We're going to pray right now against dem every single demonic influence that has a presence over your family today in the name of Jesus. Are you hearing me? We're going to pray right now by the Spirit of God with your hands extended to these people now 
that every single demonic influence that it found possession of your life, it is broken today in the name of Jesus. Listen, wherever you are in, in this auditorium, in this location, in these showgrounds, the same thing I'm seeing right now shall take place for you in the name of Jesus. I said it shall take place for you in the name of Jesus. Brothers and sisters, the Lord said, be wary because God is going to bless you financially. But what he told me is that the enemy will try to attack your marriage. Are you hearing me, my brother? Yes. The enemy will try to attack your marriage. Don't allow it for a second. Because what this union that has been placed together has been placed together by God. That saith the Lord. Are you hearing me, my sister? This is what the Lord ministered to me. By the Spirit of the living God, wherever you are, extend your hands to these people here. Extend your hands to these people here. Extend your hands to these people here. Uh -huh. See, a a you just mentioned something about these finances. He said, I've got a lot of people owing me thousands of dollars. Thousands. To pay. And are refusing to pay. Many are refusing to pay. You have thousands of dollars that have been locked. I speak now in the name of Jesus. We release it now in the name of Jesus. I said we release it now. Do you believe, my brother? Hallelujah. You believe that the Lord Jesus Christ exists. Tell me the truth. This is like a dream. It's like a dream. Wow. Like 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Wow. I don't know where to park and what. And already God has located you. I speak, God shall locate you wherever you are in the name of Jesus. I said, God shall locate you where you are in the name of Jesus. If you are under the influence of my voice, God shall locate you in the name of Jesus. Take this one. I'm going to pray for you and it's done. Wherever you are, extend your hands to these people here. Wherever you are, raise your hands, raise your hands, raise your hands. Extend your hands to these people here. I want you to begin to prophesy into their life with tongues of many waters as if you are praying for yourself. And the same thing that you are praying for them shall materialize in your life in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are, let your tongue stand out like many waters. Jesus. What are you saying, brother? Thank you. In the name of how God. do you know me? How do you know my sister? How? How do I know your sister? How has it just happened? It is not I, but the Lord Jesus Christ that has located you today. Are you hearing me, my brother? Wherever you are, I want you to grab the hand of your neighbor now. Begin to pray for your neighbor as if you are praying for yourself. Pray that the plans of the enemy upon your life shall be broken today in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are, lift up that prayer right now. A good news world with Hubert Angel. Provoking a reaction and always worth hearing.